Long live the revolution! <coughs> Vomit, no. Don't be a revolutionary, be a rebel. Revolutions suck. Welcome back to the show, ladies, gents, and Pikachus. Revolution! That's what we're talking about today. Revolution versus rebellion. I thought it was worth bringing up because I've noticed there's so many people out there who want to pick a fight with the government. The fucking dumbass, shit, robbing, bastard government. Yes, we're all pissed off with the government, like, pretty much all the time at the moment. And that's fair enough. They suck. They are literally the worst version of the worst government ever with the worst people in that I could actually imagine. Even the opposition, they suck as well. What a load of twats. So fine, if you want to go and pick a fight with the government, you go and smash that government. I'm right behind you to do it. Disclaimer, don't break any laws or be violent. Don't do anything dumb shit and get yourself in trouble. But if you want to go and pick a fight with the government, now is a great time to get involved. But I will say this. Revolutionaries are conformists, alright? They are the most conforming motherfuckers you will ever see. It's obvious to me that they are, and the reason, I mean, the clue's in the name, like, what's a revolution? A revolution is something which constantly revolves in the same way, along the same path, right? And if you think about it, what are they trying to do? They are trying to kick out the government, so they can become the government, alright? They're just the same, they are literally the same as the government they want to get rid of. The only difference is they wear different coloured ties. I mean, think about it, you know exactly what revolutionaries look like. They've got those little gay looking French caps on. They've got a uh, little beard, you know, the little bit there. Uh, they've got stars on their thing, the communism stars, and they've got long hair. Uh, and they, they, they wear like, uh, I won't insult their clothes actually, that's a low blow, but you know what the guys that I'm talking about. They just, they're s shit, come on. Wouldn't you rather be rebellious? I know I would, I'm a rebellious guy. I've always been a rebellious guy. I always think rebellion is cool, but I always think revolution's just like, oh, what a downer. I mean, think about popular culture, Star Wars, the rebels, <laughs> the rebellion, the rebellion are fucking awesome. If you're going to be going up against a huge, powerful, uh, you know, like, like the empire, going up against the empire, be a rebel. And then you're being true to yourself. You're not being a follower and a conformist. But if you're a revolutionary, you are, you're just conforming to previous political ideas. Now think about it, what is a revolutionary if not a copy and paste of a previous revolutionary in the past? Like the whole idea of revolution, the politics of revolution, the slogans of revolution, the fist, yeah, all that stuff is just copied from the past. Is that what you want to be like? You just want to be a copy and paste of someone else's politics? You're just a slave. In fact, that's what I'm going to say. That's the conclusion of this video, ladies, gents, and Pikachus. Revolutionaries are conformist fucking slaves, and they're just too dumb to know that's what they are. So if you want to go and pick a fight with a dumbass government, and you want to do it in your own way, without being a slave to someone else's age-old, tired politics, looking like an idiot with your stupid little cap on, and your bedraggled long hair, and your stolen Soviet stars, which weren't even, you know, it's stolen stuff. Like, come on, be original. Forget all that shit. Be rebellious, yes! Be a rebellious person and then you can be yourself and you can be rebellious in your own way. And you don't have to be a tired control C, control V, copy a pace of the past. So that's the end of this video, I hope you enjoyed that. Go off and be rebellious in a nice, polite, kindly, <laughs> legal way. You have to put that disclaimer in there. Uh, but yeah, shit all over this government, they're fucking terrible. I cannot wait to see the end of these traitorous rats. So, yep, yeah, look forward to the election next year when we get to kick them out and uh, replace them with someone we like. But what we won't be doing is replacing them with revolutionaries, because revolutionaries are just as evil as the empire that they want to replace. That's exactly why George Lucas went for rebellion rather than revolution. It's all in his autobiography, which you should definitely read. So that's the end of this video. Hope you enjoyed this, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye now. <laughs> Revolutionaries are so fucking lame and copied. They've got no fucking originality whatsoever and they don't know what to do or how to be. That's exactly why they have to copy from the past, the bastards. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed that and I'll see you next time.